Hello, Joe Rossiter here, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to use Evade. Soundspot's new Tempo Synced Volume Shaper plugin, available for PC and Mac in VST, AU, and AAX formats. Volume Shaper is an essential tool for sound designers, producers, mixing pros, and even mastering engineers, sidestepping the need for fiddly automation and complex sidechain routing. However, it can be somewhat of a blunt tool, resulting in obvious ducking and pumping when applied to a signal as a whole. That's where Evade comes in, building on this concept with advanced multiband and mid-side functionality, as well as plenty more features packaged up in its intuitive one-window interface. So let's get started. To walk you through Evade's sound shaping capabilities, I've loaded an instance of the plugin over this dynamically static noise sample. Presets can be browsed, loaded, and saved via the top bar control. But I'm going to start from scratch. By default, Evade is operating in multiband mode. I'll drag these bottom faders out, so Evade will shape the entirety of this signal. We'll look at the plugin's multiband functionality in more detail later. The main node shaper window is where you draw in and refine your volume shape. Double click to create new points. Drag them around to create a volume shape. And drag the middle nodes to bend the curves. Unlimited nodes can be created. I'm going to create this square shape, which will act like an off-on effect. Click this button to flip the display between a frequency analyzer and this waveform display, which is useful for viewing the effect of your volume shaping in real time. The bipolar pulse width modulation dial allows you to quickly shape the curve's response. To get your head around this, watch the volume of the waveform change as I adjust this parameter. You can skew the wave from logarithmic at minus 100%. linear at 0%, through to exponential at 100%. You can double click and type in specific parameter values, or clicking a parameter returns it to its default setting. Here my volume shaping is synced to a rate of a quarter of a bar i.e. one beat. This should be your default speed setting if you're looking to create four to the floor pumping effects. This can be changed to a speed between 32 bars and 1 32nd of a bar. I'm going to flip this to 1 16th of a bar. This sounds a bit odd right now as the volume starts at minimum and rises to maximum. However, hitting this shape flip button will reverse the playback of the volume shaping indicated by the direction of the white bar's movement. This turns the consistent noise into a spiky dynamic hi-hat loop. I can now adjust the pulse width modulation knob again to tighten or open the hi-hat line. Phase knob allows you to define the start point of playback, represented by the top white bar's position on the display. Here, setting this to around 95% gives the hi-hat groove some laid-back swing. And the big central amount knob acts like a wet-dry control allowing you to reduce the mix amount of the volume shaping. I'm going to keep that at 100% for this hi-hat sound. Next, let's take a tour of Evade's advanced multiband capabilities. I've loaded an instance of the plugin over this group, containing all of my track's musical elements. 
Vade's main display is divided into three crossover bands. Lighter bands on the outer edges, with a darker band in the middle. The bottom frequency sliders set the ranges of these bands' crossover points. By default, the volume of the incoming signal will only be shaped within the central frequency band. Listen to the signal as I move these sliders and hear how only the central band has been done. This is useful if you want to keep sub and treble frequencies untouched as you shape the level of the mid-range. This operation can be inverted with the multiband flip button. Now the outer band is being ducked, or the mid band is left unprocessed. There are many scenarios where this kind of multiband shaping can prove useful. Load evade on your track's baseline, then focus a ducking band around only the lower part of the frequency spectrum. or even just the region where your kick's fundamental frequency sits. Facilitating invisible ducking and avoiding overt pump. Steep curves can often create clicks and pops, as can the fact that the first and last nodes are unlinked. This is where the smooth knob comes in useful. Leave this alone if you want to intentionally use the clicks to create a tap. Or raise smooth to gently round the volume shape's edges and remove annoying glitches. Moving on, Evade can also operate in mid-side mode. This means you can shape the volume of a signal's mono information in a particular frequency range, while leaving the stereo content intact. This is done with the bipolar MS knob. Turn it left from its central 0% position to shape the level of only the mono part of the signal. The MS control will scale the gain curve differently for the mid and side signal, and this scaling is also influenced by the amount control. So if the amount control is set to 0%, there's no mid-side processing. When it's turned left from its 0% position, we can shape the level of only the mono part of the signal. When the MS knob is turned right from its central position, you can dynamically sculpt stereo information while leaving mono info alone. opens up plenty of corrective and creative possibilities. Use this to carve out mono low end from a dense loop, but leave mid range and high end mono and stereo content alone. Or shape the dynamics of a stereo drone, pad or sustained synth in creative ways that will be difficult to achieve through other means. That's about it for this run through of Evade. As you've seen, the plugin is capable of everything from subtle corrective leveling to creative gating and chopping. It's available now in VST and AAX formats for PC and VST, AU and AAX formats for Mac. To buy Evade or try out a 14 day demo, head over to soundspot.audio or pluginboutique.com. Until next time, thanks for watching. Thank you.